outside of the US. Um, you know, we all have an opportunity. I'm sure many of you in this room had this. We all had an opportunity to become computer programmers, to, to kind of find out if computer programming was a thing that we were going to be excited about, and then we had access to a platform we could use to develop that, to develop those skills. Um, and uh, it meant that vast numbers of people my age can at least, maybe people didn't go on to become professional computer programmers, but could at least write that two line programming, 10 print, I am the best, 20 go to 10. Uh, or 10 print, something much filthier than that, 20 go to 10. You know, we used to go into, you know, the, the Dixons and Curry's, which is sort of our kind of best buy in the UK, and, you know, type that into all of the different machines and then hit enter on all of the machines and then stand there looking through the window as the, uh, the clerks all ran up the ground trying to plug the machines and get the stuff on the screen. So, you know, at this, then we could um, reverse this decline that we saw at Cambridge. Um, that was supposed to be our contribution. Our contribution was supposed to be the existence of itself. We were never, although we were a charity, we were never supposed to engage. The original concept was we were never supposed to engage in traditional charitable activity, you know, charitable, you know, uh, doing good works. But one of the side effects of Raspberry Pi now being two, three, four orders of magnitude more popular than we'd ever imagined is that we have actually now started uh, the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Can I round of applause?